And welcome to Flexible Games, where we are playing Banished. Going for population. Thousands and thousands of people trying to see what we can do. We probably are running out of food. Looks like this wheat actually maxed out. This one is maxing out. That one will max out. Looks like we got another good crop. It's one of the reasons I like playing on fair is because it allows you to have a little bit more even. Um, and, and yes, I've played on all the other settings. Um, I've, I've, had, I've had games go very well. I've had some games go very poorly. So I'm not... I don't only play on the easiest levels every time. It's just for this, I'm going for population, not a challenge. If if people like this series, um, you know, if the feedback is good, if if I get some views on it, you know, if people like the series, then I will, you know, happily play through, um, you know, systems that people want to see. So if you want to see uh, a, a playthrough that is really hard and watch me struggle and watch my town collapse and just everybody die and but I just don't I just don't want to happen where I am you know 30 episodes into a into a series and suddenly my town collapses and everybody dies and having to start over or you know where start from an older save it's just like oh man you know that would that would be just a downer. So a little bit more stone. Okay, so let's look at some of these. Some of these uh, medieval windmill. So I can just plop that right here. That's probably going to take a lot of stone. Oh, not, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Um, how many workers on that three? So let's look at food. Let's look at a bakery. And there are, for some reason, there is a gap right there. Is that because of a house? No, not because of a house. So let's, uh, food, bakery. We also have a butcher shop. The water tower, I just don't think does it very much. The pond. Interesting. The bakery. So let's do that. I need two people there. I'm going to need the residence for the bakery. Let's uh, get a good uh, good view of where this is going to go. So it's probably going to go above the main structure. And this is 16 stone. Oh, come on. Come finish. Okay, what was our yield like? And it's still... It just hit it too late in the year, it looks like. 1,500. I wonder if I hit, uh, hit 10,000 food? No, not even close. What was this one like? 1,204, awesome. So now that that is done, let's look at our... So our food is... Our food goes down, struggles, and comes back up. Our food goes down, so we are still, we are still out some food. So the miller is wheat into flour. So make bread, um, honey. I don't, I don't have the mod that adds honey, so we're just gonna have to make bread. This probably doesn't spin. It's unfortunate. So we got 160 flour. So yeah, a lot of lot of cool buildings. And they fit really nicely into the theme. 
So it doesn't, it's not like they stand out or anything. So we got the miller working here and the blacksmith. And we are making bread. This is awesome. I'm not sure what the ratio is on these. So 20 made, actually that was pretty good. Uh, flour, so we have 24, let's see what this drops down. So it looks like it goes down 16, it went up. Well, it went up 24. Let it go up 14. Use 16 to make 14. So do we have bread in here now? We have flour. And we have bread. Awesome. So 64, 48, 60. It might be one for one, which would be which would be even better. So does anybody have bread yet? Got lots of flour. So the miller is doing good. I still have some wheat. Still have some wheat. Hoping to start seeing some bread getting consumed here. But we need to increase our food supply even more because we are hurting on food. And we can't really go north uh, just because that wood farm is there. So we need to come down here and clear out like all of this stuff. Because we're going to need a lot of farms. And unfortunately, let's uh, see if we can make a quick stockpile for iron. Um, let's put it back back here. Stone can go up here. I don't mind that at all. Because we have another little one over here. See, so we are out of wheat already. So do we are we getting bread? So we have bread and flour. So they're they're using some of both. I wonder what happened. I wonder what that did do our food. Drop down quite fast there. You can see. Oh, and we're, I'm on late winter and I just, I thought the season was, um, cancel removal. Because I need you guys to go into the farm and start working ASAP. I started that too late. I don't know why they're I don't know why they do that. Okay, so I got them in late. It's probably not gonna be a very good year. Um, who knows what effect that's going to have late game, but what food do we have? Yeah, we're so low on food. What I think happened is all that wheat went in, everybody pulled wheat in, and then the remaining wheat was used to mill it down into flour, but so they do have some flour. I'd really like to know how much, to make 512 flour, how much wheat they used. You know, like, 
to make 500 flour, was that 500 wheat? Or was that 900 wheat? I mean, that makes a huge difference. I can't really... So trade items, here's the three things that we've got. We've got lots of, lots of things that we need to acquire. Production, let's look at, um, whoops, let's look at what we've produced. So food, so we're using more food than we're making, obviously. That's why we're trying to expand food. And yeah, we've used, we're, we're very, very, very dangerously low on food. If it wasn't for the fishery, which maybe I'll add one more person to, the gatherer's hut, I'll add a person to. Um, do I have a, a house for a gatherer's hut? That would be very handy. I have a medieval hunter residence. I wonder how that works. That's just a separate house. That doesn't help me at all. Um, medieval hunter. Oh, that's why. It's just half and half. That's how it works. So one half is one half is the house. One half is the hunter cabin. That's pretty nice. Medieval clinic. That's the smaller. That's a smaller clinic. Medieval apothecary. Medieval library. A bathhouse. Interesting. So I will build most most all of that. Uh, I just need so let's see. Yeah, there's no house for for a gatherer's hut. That would have been nice to have. It would have been nice to have houses for all of these just because they're so far away. They're always so far away from the city that it's a tough, it's a tough sell to get people to work out there because they have to walk so far. They're so unproductive. So we're still in early summer and our yields are pretty good. So it looks like I kind of dodged a bullet by canceling all that out. So this, yeah, all of these things, getting lots of fish, lots and lots of fish. Um, how many laborers? We have 20 laborers that aren't doing anything right now. I want to build a stone bridge across. Oh. One at the middle of this road. Stone bridge across. And that's gonna be fifty six stone. Well you're just you just sort of uh oh okay. That's interesting. You know there there's a spot over here you could have put it. They just they just like swimming, I guess. I, I don't know if the game never used to do that, so I don't know if a mod, I don't know if a mod has done that or what. That's funny. We're just gonna walk through this deep water. No problem. And you don't have a house. And now you do have a house. Okay. So there's our hunter died of old age. So there, now we've got a, this was occupied by a very old person, and now it's occupied by two people who have a family. So we got a 70 year old there, seven, these people are, these, these were our two guys that never hooked up with anybody. So now those are being productive. Um, there's somebody who, either had a die, wife die of childbirth or something bad happened. So we've got a couple more 
pretty old residence. So I'm going to go from 82. What am I going to go down to? Sixty-two, so that's twenty. And I forgot what I. <laughs> oh, I forgot what this was. Hundred and sixty. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good ratio. It look it. It feels like it's a pretty good ratio. Um, you have zero. Why do you show? No work. You should have work to do. You should have lots of work to do. So again, the harvest on this was not too bad, actually. Another bumper crop here, huge bumper crop there. Just massive, massive crops this year, which was really good. We really needed, we really needed that bump. Not as high as I would have thought. Why? I wonder why. Okay, now that we are in winter, I can uh, clear some of this land again. So we want a lot of farms. So go to it, minions. Got a little iron spot right here. They'll bring stone up over here, logs, all that stuff will come up, come up here. All right, you know, it would've been nice to clear out this space first so I can make room for more farms. But let's do another huge crop field. So 13 by 13 here. Thirteen by thirteen here. Another one here. And one more over here. There we go. So I'm gonna want this one to be peppers, this one to be wheat. This is gonna be three, one, two, three. This is gonna be three, one, two, three. Oh, uh, now you, you guys need to finish. You need to finish, please. There we go. Now, is there a firewood is low? That is alarming. I'm going to have to uh, build another woodcutter. So that's peppers. I want this one to be wheat and this one to be wheat since we've got so many people. We got that miller and the thing now, so the miller and the bakery. I really want to make sure that is maxed out. And I'm just going to plop a storage barn right here. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.